you first came to the U.S. Uh, as part of a student, was it a swap? Were yeah, you swapped? It, was, it was technically called a, a student exchange program, but there was no one coming, you know, f- to Poland. Uh, when I was going to to the states, so it wasn't technically an exchange; it was just like a one-year experience in American high school, with host parents. You were you said you were in Oklahoma. Yeah, so I ended up in Oklahoma just because it works in a way that the host family chooses their exchange students. So I was chosen by a family in Oklahoma, and I didn't really have a choice; I just went there. Uh, I mean, Oklahoma, you know, it can be boring, especially for a high school student, uh, but it was fun. They took me on some trips. Uh, I had some problems with uh, the actual host family. I mean, obviously, I can't complain on anything because, you know, everyone who participates in a program like that, they really want to do it. And, you know, they're very cool with you. They want to they want you to have the best experience as you can. But the first family that I joined, they had some unexpected like family issues right when I came so they decided they they need to resign from the program uh, and that was totally fine with me but uh, it you know it turned out that if they're resigning I either go back to Poland or I have or I have to find a different host family uh, and the school that I was attending in Oklahoma already told me that uh, they will give me a high school diploma by the end which I really wanted to get so I didn't really want to change a town or a school. I wanted to stay in the same school. So as an exchange program, you have some someone called local coordinator, a person from the foundation you're going with who's taking care of you. Uh, and she found me another host family uh, that didn't really participate in the program. Uh, it was uh, it was an elderly couple, and I lived with them. Uh, but you know, it was it was a little weird. <laughs> Because they were very, very. What Christian. was it? Was it like culture shock? Yes, it was culture shock for me. Because you know, if someone already wants to participate in something like that, they're usually, you know, they're very open-minded. They're very cool people who just want to meet some other culture, right? Have some kid from a different culture in a different country, and they were, they were people who didn't really, you know, volunteer in that program. They were just asked by my local co- coordinator if they can host me. Uh, so uh, they were, yeah, they were completely different. They were just an old elderly couple who was very, very Christian, uh, and you know how how crazy and like radical uh, Southern Christianity can become, right? I I don't outside of rumor. Tell me. <laughs> I mean. I don't know if it was super radical for America. For me, it was because I grew up, uh, you know, Catholic. And yes, Catholicism is, is, uh, is a little strict in, in some rules and things like that. But uh, for me, it was a completely different experience to, to see the American Christianity. Or I guess the church that they belong to was uh, called non, non, den, non how, how do you call it? Uh, there was no denom- non-denominational. Exactly, non-denominational. So they don't associate with any denomination, I guess. It's, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, they, they don't quite fit into any of the others exactly. where they at some point along the, the reformed in a certain direction that makes them just different enough to be something yeah. else. Yeah, and you know, the first... The map of all the churches in the U.S. is crazy. Yeah, and you know, the first impression is like, yeah, they're super positive people, they sing, they, you know, they're very fun, they're very energetic, you know, it's very, it's very cool, but then they start doing things as, uh, you know... Uh, passing down on the floor in the prayer, you know, where the preacher comes and touches <laughs> your head, and you're like, oh, and you're passing down oh, on the floor. He throws hands. Yes, he does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have those. Were you healed, Peter? Were you healed? They they made me go like to the front and and you know get touched by the by the preacher, and I was just standing there like. <laughs> and am I supposed to feel anything? Like is something happening? That's actually how you become an American. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so it was one of those churches where, you know, you have those uh, perfectly perfectly cool, uh, fun, you know, elderly people uh, and then they go to the church and you see them like believing in this extreme power of God in such a crazy, you know, and I would say a little delusional way, you know, and like believing that the power is hitting them so much that they're passing, passing down on the floor and like, yeah, it, it was it was a culture shock for sure. Uh, and you know 
then I had to obviously go to that church with them very often. I had to do some like church work, like, you know, mopping the floor in the church just because they were doing it and they were, they were volunteering. So I had to do it with them. And I was in this weird situation where I wanted to, um, you know, I needed to stay with them because there was no other host family to, to stay with if I wanted to finish that school and get my high school diploma. Uh, so I had to be nice with them and I had to be, you know, very uh, understandable and like following everything that they wanted me to do. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it was a little crazy. I think I think some of that extremism uh, comes from the fact that there aren't quite as many churches per capita in the U.S. as there are in Poland. Because, and I'll show it here, I've seen that map that shows how many Catholic churches there are that basically fills Poland. Mm -hmm. It's So it's like, I think in the U.S. it's just there's, there's fewer churches overall, so people are way more uh, enthusiastic about them. Yeah. Because you have to fill in that space. Yeah, and also, well, the churches in, in America are way bigger. Some of them are like stadiums almost from what I saw in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, here it's it's more, you know, it's it's hundreds of years of history. And, you know, back then, you know, in like Middle Ages, people wouldn't travel that much. They wouldn't go to a different town to attend church. So you needed at least a very small little church or, or a shed that would be a church in every village right so we had that's why we have so many churches it's like literally every village in poland every little settlement needs to have a church or at least like a little uh, altar right for people to go and pray but you would say people are not as extreme in poland no i wouldn't say so and also you know i i think catholicism in poland is is going very down i mean i don't know anyone my age who would be like very you know believing and attending church so like yes we have a lot of churches in poland but they're mostly empty <laughs>